Okay, moment of truth. Oh, fuck. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to What's Up 391, I think it is. Yes, I've been away for a while, but I still need to start with a bit of a moan and a whinge, as is true What's Up style. I've been well and truly stitched up tonight. I've not ridden a Zwift race since, I think it was August, uh, when I had the most titanic battle over the Surrey Hills with Shane Blackmore, uh, Scott Money, Martin Overweg, I think Andrew Lawrence was involved. Anyway, it was just absolute torture. So, given that I've done no exercise and managed to acquire quite a little bit of extra bulk, I put myself in the Ds. The idea being, I might have a chance of just sort of holding on to a bunch and making this relatively competitive for myself. Uh, so, thanks to, uh, I think mainly, Ring Visser, everybody's joined the Ds. So we have, we have about 5,000 people in the D category, all of which are really A's, B's and C's, I know that. So, I don't know what to make of tonight's race. What tonight's race is, is the cat race, and we are going up the original Watopia Epic Com. And, as I only discovered today, that does include the radio tower. I was absolutely certain when I chose the route that it didn't. But, uh, you know, as I mentioned, been away for a little while, so I've kind of lost track of which route goes where, and, and well, that's just one of many things I'm trying to re-familiarise myself with. What is absolutely amazing, as we have 25 seconds to go, is you guys. I'm not going to get all emotional tonight. I promised myself beforehand that I'm not going to, but it's, it's incredible. The, the turnout, the messages, yeah, I, I didn't expect anything else. Anyway, I'm going to zip it just for a second because we are going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Monday night cat race. Go, go, go. <laughs> I'm already knackered. 212 watts for 100 meters. <laughs> Padre, great start boss, just keep that up for about an hour. <laughs> an hour in my dreams, Padre. Actually, that's something else I've got to moan about with this room. I stupidly anticipated getting this ride race done and dusted in time to watch Liverpool play later this evening. That ain't happening. Not in a million years. It wouldn't have done even if we weren't taking in the radio tower, but now I'll probably miss the entire, entire match, or the uh, first half at the very least. Going back to what I was saying, just seeing some of the names that are here, even uh, the early arrivers in the start pen, just absolutely incredible. I think I forgot most of your names. <laughs> nah, just kidding. How could I forget Maria, Paul, Anne, Joel, Noel, James, Percy, Padron, Rudy, Rink, Martin, Dwight, I'm going to forget loads. Peter, Jason, Kev. Yeah, I probably should stop because if I miss anyone out, they'll think it's deliberate. Mr. Joel Walker. So good to see you, man. Looks like he's been uh, working to bunch all of us guys together. Thank you so much. Just great to see you again, dude. It really is. But look at this, just around me. Got James Guppy, John Grasso, Stephen Moon, Kate Benito, Yuckham Blues, Martin Prop, Rudy Palsma, M. Vendola. Don't know the next one, sorry. And S. Ring Visa, C. Baker. Just superstars. Maybe I should have started with a flat one. <laughs> so, 
predictably enough, I am struggling big time. Um, as you'd have seen from my pre-race weigh-in, the thick part of 85 kilograms, legs of jelly, lungs of, I don't know what, what would be a bad description of lungs. Anyway, whatever it is, that's what I've got. And the, uh, the mileage counter doesn't seem to be going down. <laughs> But, I'll keep trudging until I absolutely cannot turn a pedal anymore. That's as much as I can promise tonight. Thank you for all the ride-ons. Tor, I saw your name pop up. Jason Masterman. Again, I probably should not try and name, so I'll miss people out, but thank you all so much. So good to see you, man. All right, 20, less than 22 kilometers to go. I've got Martin Prop, Hemic Dijkstra, Geert Anderson, Chris Davis, Lequeu, John Grasso, Stephen Moon, Ian A. Stilston, Paul Bailey, Rooney Plasma, Blair Drader. Uh, don't think I missed anyone off that screen. Paul Trilk, all keeping me very good company. I think I'm still going faster than I should be in order to make it to the top. But, I'll keep trying for now. <laughs> I've just seen Brian Roden on the Buffalo bike. <laughs> I think he's still happy to add on weight ballast and ride well within himself, not to wipe the floor with us, even on that bike. Anyway, less than 20k in, uh, to go now. Still alive, just about. Still holding around two watts per kilogram. I drop below it every so often. Uh, Marcus, can you flog the cheap carbon steer again with those arms? <laughs> oh, of course, yeah, my, my wheelie video where I had uh, some cheap carbon handlebars and uh, yeah, it didn't work out too well. I can't afford to break any more bars, so that won't be happening. <laughs> I was planning on doing the uh, my pain cave vlog this week, but the weather's been so horrendous that uh, this tin roof doesn't work well. So I have to wait for a dryer spell. I've done quite a lot compared to what you can see behind me Everything, all the improvements I've made are actually that side of the camera. Uh, but I'm close to finished. That wall needs redoing over there. But uh, it's getting there and I love it. Uh, Mr. Grasso, so awesome to see you. I hope yourself and Ard have had a lovely Christmas and New Year. Are keeping safe and well. As to all of you, actually, I haven't even said Happy New Year, have I? All right, Happy New Year. I hope you're all doing what you're supposed to be doing in your in your tears. I hope you all had a really lovely Christmas. Sometimes being forced to stay indoors and spend time with your family is not a bad thing. So I hope you all enjoyed it and uh, let's make 2021 a bloody good one shall we? Of the, the first of the major horrible disgusting climbs the worst part is yet to come but at least we've got a kind of rest in between Com is done. Just a small matter 
uh, for what is probably the hardest actual climb in Zwift. The radio tower climb. Again, I was not aware that we were doing it. Sorry everyone. And to make matters worse, I got XP as I came under the banner. No feather, no draft, nothing useful. All right, we're settling. Drag myself up this effing hill. It's my first race in a long time. It might just be my last. <laughs> I'm feeling cramped. Uh, it looks like everyone's going to wait at the top of the hill. Jochen's trying to tempt me to race him to the top. <laughs> no chance, mate. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like everyone's going to wait at the top and then race the descent. I won't be able to do more than one more per kilogram even on the way down. I can feel cramp coming in, which I was about to say I've not had for a long time, but I did actually do a little ride with Paul Pickles Nichols the other day. Just a little quiet leg loosener. And uh, I didn't realize he'd made a route based on some of the South Downs way. We started off at about 20%. So I was feeling cramp on that ride as well. But, this one, I'm only halfway through and the legs are hurting bad. But, as Mr. James Guppy has been kindly reminding me, positive mental attitude, keep smiling, and uh, it should all be easier than it feels if I'm pessimistic about everything. So, this is easy, loving it. <laughs> So close yet so far. It's only there, but it just doesn't seem to be getting any closer. Oh man. I'm paying the price for being a lazy oaf for, well, <coughs> since the uh, 20th of September, I think it was when the VLF, the Viva France finished. And uh, I've done nothing since then, a couple of gentle outdoor rides, a couple of very, very slow indoor rides. I knew I was putting on weight as well, but wasn't absolutely sure of the numbers. In actual fact, our washing machine blew up a few weeks ago, so mine and Emma's Christmas present to each other was a new washing machine. And uh, I was convinced that the new machine was shrinking all my clothes. <laughs> no, most definitely not the case. So, I have a target to lose two stone this year, which I think is that about 10 kilograms, 10, 12 kilograms, something like that. And uh, I also saw what looked like a really interesting event run by Diabetes UK today, which is a virtual Land's End John O'Groats over 30 days. So it's roughly 30 miles a day starting in April, so I might target that because uh, it's always good to have something to work towards. Ah, oh, we're at the top, yes. Oh. oh no, I don't mean to stop there. Keep going, keep going. I don't know if everyone's having a rest or what. We're waiting for everyone else. I think we're gonna go when the elapsed time hits one hour five. So I've got a couple of minutes rest. I've got no chance of sprinting away. Anyway, hey, Mr. Frank Storley. Great to see you, dude. Thanks for the ride on. Oh, my heart rate's finally come down. I think I've been averaging about 175 all the way. Amazingly, the cramp stayed away up that horrible, horrible last climb. But I still don't think I've got anything in terms of sprint power. 
Still got 14 kilometers to go, so I'm assuming it's down. Uh, where's it go? Then out. Do we have to go up towards the Italian villas and through there? I, I, uh, I really should do my homework before these races. All right, 25 seconds. All right, before we all blast off, thanks everybody for tying me up there. Obviously, I bemoaned the fact that everybody joined the Ds, <laughs> but to be honest, the, uh, the bunch I was with is definitely the reason I got to the top of this climb. If I was left on my own, I'd either have stopped or I'd still be halfway down the hill. Anyway, I think we're going. Yeah, looks like everyone's rolling. Well, some people are more than rolling, they've gone for it. All right, looks like everyone's going. Okay. All right. That's as much as I've got of a sprint. And what, aero tuck, I think. Why am I not tucked? Come on, tuck. Why am I not tucking? That's not on. I must be fast enough, surely. <laughs> I think that was, was that Ian that just went flying past me? hitting over 100 kilometers an hour. I'm at 87. Oh God, I'm in a really hot gear as well. I've got to get up and out of here. Paul Bailey, that was fun. Does that mean he's already at the bottom? <laughs> Bloody hell. Let's go forward and see what some of these nutters are doing. So there's Anne with Paul Twilk, Stuart Bailey. Absolutely flying. Le Q, 10 watts per kilogram. Go on, man. Go further forward, it looks like Martin Prop got this one pretty much sewn up. Yeah, the monster. Assuming actually we've got. A, oh no, no, I don't think April Stan is doing the doing the charge downhill. Oh, Rink is coming. Paul Bailey, Rink Visa, just four seconds behind. There's Paul. Uh, it's because of that little, little lump. So if they've managed to carry speed over the top, working together, they might pull it back. The queue's there as well. James Guppy's not far off. I think the prop monster has got the power for when it flattens off anyway. Paul Bailey certainly hasn't given this one up. Oh God, back to me, I'm on a climb. Sorry guys. Actually, no, don't worry, I'd rather watch this. I'll just get out the saddle and grind up whatever lump I'm on. So Le Q and Guppy, just a second behind. Rink, just one second further back. And then Chris Davis, another couple of seconds. Le Q, 13 watts per kilogram, 11 watts per kilogram. Let's have a look at this. Whoa, these boys. Seriously, if they can group together, this could be interesting. Oh, <laughs> throwing down serious power. Drop Monster still with a decent advantage. So come over that next bump. It's uh, James Guppy now leading the chase. Paul Bailey, Le Q. Rink's dropped off a bit. Chris Davis, a couple of seconds behind Rink. Then we got Ruby Plasma, Stephen Moon, Blair Drader. Actually, Blair's a bit further back. All right, let's go and check out Prop Monster. I think he's got this one wrapped up. Yeah, look at that. Still putting out five and a half watts per kilogram. All right, so I'd say Prop Monster took it. Whoa! Guppy and Bailey, I'm not sure where the, the finish, uh, official finish line is. I think it's those lampposts. Oh no, actually, what am I talking about? It carries on. Onto the, uh, onto the little boardwalk bit, doesn't it? Like the jetty. But let's assume that they're still racing. And Prop Monster has now just got, got just one second from Guppy and Bailey. The queue's dropped off. I don't even know where I am. I'm just soft pedaling now. 
my super tuck didn't work at all anyway for whatever reason so there's my excuse for not winning this I already had no chance all right Martin seven watts per kilogram James 11 watts per kilogram whoa with Bailey here comes Paul Bailey I don't know where the line is <laughs> I always thought, well, my line when we did it, I think, was literally the end of this here. In which case, James Guppy takes the lead. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure Martin's line is a bit further back. So, anyway, well done, guys. Right, let's see where I am. Quite a way behind. <laughs> Look at that. Two, over two minutes behind Rudy. <laughs> oh, there goes Jochen. Brian Roden behind me, Maria just 50 seconds back, Paul Trilk just 50 seconds ahead, John Grasso, Ian Elston and Gert Anderson 15 seconds ahead. Oh, super tuck's working now, typical. Okay. I am properly cramping now in my thighs and my groin. <laughs> 5k to go. Still a little bit of uphill. Rink asking for a sprint start. <laughs> Not a chance. If I try and sprint now, something's going to pop in my body. So I'm going to be pretty much soft pedaling to the end, I would imagine. I think it's actually the little rest of the top didn't do me any good at all. I've had that before where I felt cramp and it's kind of subsided and then I take a few minutes rest and it just comes back with a vengeance. So it's my own fault. I wish I could sprint with you guys. I just can't. I've got to keep in mind, we've got one more little climb to do straight after this sprint. I'm in proper pain here, boys and girls. <laughs> the ring's blown himself up. <laughs> Good man. I, don't, I didn't see what your time was, but you certainly had power going through it. Ah, oh, this is the bit I've not been looking forward to. Oh no, out of the saddle might not be the best way. <laughs> well said, Martin. <laughs> Mind you, I can't say anything. Martin's comment, good to have the old rink back bonking two kilometres from the end. <laughs> the reason I can't say anything is because of probably my most memorable race in history where Rink seemed to eat into a five kilometre lead that I had or was it five minute lead, one or the other at the end of the 111 race when it looked like all I had to do was cruise home to beat him uh, and he, he destroyed me so I'll never comment on Rink bonking before the end of a race Right, against all my better judgment, I will try and sprint for the line. I mean, I know I'll regret it and I won't have anything to show for it. But it'll be entertaining, or should be. Why well, am I the lead out in this sprint? Uh, God's sake. Okay, we're inside the last kilometre of what has been disgustingly painful but thoroughly enjoyable race. Thank you all so, so, so much. Bloody love this group. I love you guys. Absolutely fantastic. A few of the sprinters already gone. It's far too early for me. <laughs> I've probably got maybe 100 metres in me at sprint and then I'll be sick and cramped. But, hey ho. Actually, there's no point in even trying to sprint now, is there? Well, come on, let's do this. Let's try. 250. <laughs> I can't. I can't. 
can't. Who's there in front of me? John Gray, sorry, I can't get it. Oh, John. Oh. oh, I actually do feel sick now. Oh my good God. I can't thank you enough for that. Feels so horrendously horrible and so brilliant. Thank you all. I'm actually not gonna hang around because I do feel a little bit sick. And so far I've only missed about 10 minutes of the Liverpool match, so if I get sorted quickly enough, I might catch some of the first half. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. Not just for the race, but for your patience in me basically just ditching the group for such a long period of time. I'm so proud of the guys that stepped in and just took it on. And I've mentioned it before, they just made it even better in my absence. So things will just turn to shit again now that I'm back. <laughs> but uh, there's too many individual names for me to mention. Uh, but I hope you all know who I'm talking about. Ah, oh, it's good to be back. Now I've got to try and remember how to edit a video. All right, until next time. <laughs>